Mr Speaker, on the 25th of January 2021 last year, the Home Secretary commented on a Met Police video of officers breaking up an illegal party in London. She said, this illegal gathering was an insult to those hospitalised with COVID, our NHS staff and everyone staying at home to protect them. Police are enforcing the rules to save lives. Why has she now changed her mind? Well, I would like to um, welcome the Right Honourable Lady um, to her role, actually. We did not get the chance to do that last time round when we met on the National Anti-Borders Bill. But, of course, Mr Speaker, with regards to coronavirus regulations, I stand by my comments, primarily because the entire country, during the time of the virus itself, the pandemic, were absolutely doing incredible work to ensure that the virus was not being spread. And of course, my views have not changed on that. They are absolutely consistent. And in relation to policing, of course, throughout the pandemic, we asked the police to do extraordinary things. But as she will also know, the police are operationally independent of me. And the police were following the guidance issued by government at the time and, of course, did very, very good work to protect the public. Well, I'm glad that she stands by her words and her defence of the police. But then how on earth can she defend the Prime Minister, who has publicly admitted breaking the rules? She isn't even waiting for the Sue Gray report. Beth Rigby asked her, are you reserving judgment until the Sue Gray report comes out? She said, no, on the contrary, I have publicly supported the Prime Minister. Tens of thousands of fines were given out in the months when Downing Street was holding parties. And she told the police to enforce those rules, but now she's defending someone who has admitted breaking them. Yeah. The Home Secretary's job is to uphold the rule of law. Does she realise how damaging it is to public trust and to trust in the police to be undermining the rule of law now? 